So good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Android TV workshop. Uh, it's great to see so many people in the audience. Uh, right after lunch and being the final session is always a little bit challenging, but it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's good to see uh, so many people. Uh, Android TV came up quite a few times uh, uh, during the past uh, two days. Um, so um, we're really happy to have uh, the, uh, you know, a 90 minute slot to focus entirely on, on Android TV. Have a dedicated session on that and uh, hopefully share as many insights from, from partners uh, and answer as many questions as possible uh, from you. Uh, I'm Matthias Pushman. I look after Android TV partnerships in uh, DACH in Central Eastern Europe and the Middle East. Um, and what we've planned today is basically um, uh, not a panel, but really a workshop. So um, we want to be uh, you know, as open as possible uh, to, to answer any type of questions uh, redirected to any one of us uh, and give you a really good uh, overview of what um, um, yeah, Android TV is, uh, why operators are choosing to go with Android TV, um, what the benefits are, what the challenges are, um, and also uh, the learnings from, uh, from partners. Um, We'll start the, um, the workshop with um, just a quick introduction of what Android TV is. Um, I'm sure all of you are aware of um, uh, the basics, but just giving you a little bit of an update of the, the momentum, uh, the latest developments. Um, and then we'll have Mladen um, Mjatovic, who uh, looks after business development uh, at United Cloud, uh, who have recently launched uh, their first Android TV project, um, walk us through um, basically a case study uh, and talk about uh, some of the learnings and the insights of uh, the, the project. Afterwards, we have uh, Pierre Donat, who is a director of product and marketing at 3SS, uh, who have a lot of experience building multi-screen apps and pay TV services, um, share his thoughts on uh, how to shape the future of TV uh, with the Android TV uh, operated here. And then we'll have Jackie Barnum focus on the Google Assistant coming uh, to TV. Uh, she's looking after Android TV partnerships uh, in, in, in EMEA as well. Um, and she's also driving our assistant on TV implementations from an operator perspective. So she's the go-to person for any uh, assistant-related uh, topic. Um, next up will be Liam Bresnihan, who is a director of product management at TiVo. Everyone knows uh, TiVo mostly for their legacy uh, PVR Linux deployments, but TiVo has been very active lately also in the Android TV space, uh, and he's going to introduce us to uh, their TV solutions uh, for Android TV and then focus on uh, two dedicated features, um, hybrid personalization and also a content recommendation. And finally, we'll focus on advertising. TV thrives of basically two standard forms of monetization, subscriptions and advertising. And we've put a lot of thinking into how to bring advertising um, to, uh, to the TV landscape um, on Android TV uh, to drive additional value for our partners uh, on their devices. Uh, Oliver is a strategic partner lead broadcast and entertainment at Google, and he will talk about Google's addressable advertising solutions for Android TV. Um, so thanks, all of you, for, for joining the workshop. Um, we call this a workshop uh, because we want to make this as interactive as possible. As mentioned earlier, I'll leave enough time for questions at the end. Uh, if you have any questions throughout the presentation, feel free to uh, submit them at Slido or hashtag Android TV, and we'll take um, the most popular ones. But at the end, we'll also have mics in the room to answer questions. So quick intro to Android TV. Um, with Android, we've built an ecosystem with uh, thousands of apps and developers. And over time, Android has evolved into, into much more than just a smartphone uh, operating system. It's a, it's a platform, an ecosystem, which now also powers uh, wearables, um, IoT devices, automotives, and uh, the TV screen. So Android TV is, is a full stack platform which OEMs and operators uh, can take to build uh, smart TV devices, uh, which can be fully customized and uh, integrated with any technology uh, partner. On top of that, we provide the Google TV services. So YouTube, the Play Store, Chromecast, uh, Google Search, best-in-class voice, the Google Assistant, and um, more to come. And all this is complemented by a large ecosystem of apps and developers, uh, which make it easier, faster, and cheaper uh, to build a service. Um, the momentum proves the point. We're doubling activations year over year. Many smart TV brands are now built on Android TV. Uh, and on the operator uh, side, we have around 140 operators in 60 markets uh, committed, ranging from full linear pay TV solutions uh, to VOD focused OTT dongles. They have a lot of OEMs to choose from. There's more than 40 licensed um, uh, OEMs for Android TV, and they offer all kinds of different hardware options at uh, different costs. 
um, three main areas that we want to focus in this workshop. Um, the first one is um, flexibility and independence. So uh, basically how we provide partners with the flexibility to build highly customized services based on their needs. The second one is uh, how we bring advanced technology to partner services. And the third one is how to drive additional value uh, and monetization through ref share models and also new advertising uh, solutions. Flexibility, what does this mean specifically? Operators control the UX, not Google. So you manage the full look and feel with a custom launcher or you can also take the Google standard launcher and then customize that for fast time to market. Operators choose their hardware. So um, as mentioned in the previous slide, um, there's um, a very fast and growing uh, ecosystem driving greater choice uh, and also cheaper devices. And then operators decide on the tech. So you can integrate with any CAS or DAM, any middleware, any analytics or recommendation engine provider. Um, we're completely agnostic there. At the same time, we try to make it as simple as possible to launch a device. So we're uh, launching an OTT turnkey solution um, currently, uh, which is a 4K HDR dongle uh, with a Bluetooth remote pre-certified from Google, pre-certified from Netflix um, that operators can take, preload their app, boot directly into it. Uh, including operator customizations and have a time to market in two to three months for an OTT device. But we're also innovating with, with new form factors. So we work with partners to launch devices such as sound bars, which turn any TV screen into an Android TV, uh, short throw projectors who do the same thing uh, on a projection basis, uh, and even operator branded uh, TVs. So there's operators um, that preload their app, for example, or that bundle these devices um, for, um, uh, for long-term contracts, for example. So together with partners, we're continuously bringing uh, advanced uh, tech to the living room. Google Assisting is, uh, is changing how people control the TV and also discover content, and we'll hear more about that in a few minutes. Uh, Chromecast is built into any Android TV device. Uh, there's more than 1,000 apps uh, that uh, can cast uh, directly to, to Android TV devices. Uh, and then thanks to Android, uh, operators can easily enable cross-device uh, use cases. And additionally, we provide uh, operators with completely optional tools uh, and new ways to drive more revenue on set-top boxes. Um, so um, there's different, different ways. Um, you can partner with, with app developers to offer their apps as part of a tiered subscription package. So that's not Android TV specific, of course. Um, but with uh, direct carrier billing, for example, um, we offer ref shares for purchases on the Play Store. Uh, you can integrate our Play Movies store uh, as your primary T-Bot store if you don't have your own uh, with bounty payments and ref share. Uh, and we also explore new uh, advertising solutions uh, for the home screen and in stream that Oliver is going to talk about. Last slide is a very important slide. Um, why are we doing all this? Uh, what's in it for Google? Um, and I think that's, that's very important to, to, to make that distinction. Um, for us, it's about uh, ensuring consistent distribution for our services. Um, that YouTube, the Play Store, um, can be accessed on as many devices as possible in the highest quality. Uh, we want to reduce fragmentation for our app developers uh, so that they can focus on building uh, the best experience uh, and then not having to, um, to spend time and money on uh, integration efforts on, on various platforms. And then the third one is increasing stickiness of the Android ecosystem overall through cross-device use cases, for example. Um, what's not in it for us, uh, we're not reducing any operator control. It's uh, the operator's product, the operator's customer, uh, the operator's uh, business. Um, we're not collecting any viewing data. We're being asked that, of course, on every uh, first pitch and, and throughout, and we're very clear about what type of data we, we collect on operator devices. It's system level, uh, and it's in our very own Google uh, applications, um, but that's it. Uh, and then partners can use their own search, their own recommendation, their own ads, their own billing services. We're completely agnostic to um, the tech that is being integrated. And then we're not seeking any revenue share of operator services. So that's basically Android TV in a nutshell. And with that being said, I'd like to ask Mladen um, to uh, yeah, give us the first presentation uh, from an operator perspective.